Hi there, I'm Blackbright. Welcome to my channel. Um, if it's the first time you're passing through, you can put the thumbs up or you can put the thumbs down. You can subscribe, you can share and yeah, thank you very much for passing by. Um, today, um, I was inspired by this video I was watching by a YouTuber I'm subscribed to. And he was talking about this man who was a cannibal who had eaten... 31 people, that was the headline, 31 people, including six Jehovah's Witnesses and two postmen. And I'm like, bloody hell. But what made me laugh is that the guy, he is so, he just, you know, he was so astounded. He was just so entertaining. I'm going to put the link below because it was really, um, it's really believable. In this day and age, anything is possible. And that is the sad thing. Somebody says that they've eaten, a man has eaten 31 people. And you actually believe it. And the th what made it even more believable is that the picture of the man had this really thick neck. And it was plausible that you could think that somebody was big like that and look like him could actually eat 31 people. And apparently the way the newspaper had put it down is that he had aromatic spices and, you know, there was noise from the neighbour. The neighbours reported it and then they found out what he was doing. So, but apparently this was fake news. Well, it's, a, it's not really fake news. There's a newspaper called the World News Daily Report and it's it talks about different things in a satirical manner. And that is what it's renowned for. I'm not quite sure what the purpose is, but apparently they can get away with it. And so when you see the headline and you see World News Report, it looks very believable. There is nothing on that headline that you would think, oh, that's not real, that's, that's fake news. And to be honest... I think the only reason I found out that it was fake news was because I actually wanted to supplement what he was saying because I couldn't understand why anyone would want to eat another human being. Unless, you know, you're the only couple of people on a mountain, you're desperate, there's no food, and then they decide, I think there was a movie like that, then they decide to um, who they're going to eat, they draw lots. I mean, Hannibal Hector, I know that was a fictional um, movie with Anthony Hopkins, that was based on the same principle. And I remember seeing a video with these Chinese guys, well, I won't say Chinese, um, oriental guys sitting around these black men that had all been chopped up and they were eating them and it had this caption about cannibalism in china but you do not know what is real from what is not real the way that people can fabricate and software is so sophisticated these days you don't know what to believe from what not to believe. And like I said, if I hadn't been looking for the article, I wouldn't have come across the World News report that was actually refuting it and saying it wasn't real. Apparently, um, it came out originally on the 12th of February. I don't know what year. Um and the heading was Cannibal Killer Slaughtered and Ate 23 Pizza Delivery Men. Six Jehovah's Witnesses and two postmen in the last seven years. Now, unless there's a lot of pizza huts or pizza companies in that area, I would have thought if they were sending out pizza men and they weren't coming back, that would raise alarm bells. But who knows, maybe he selects pizza men from different places and then... It does just not well. I would have thought he'd get found out sooner than that because even if it was one pizza guy from one pizza hut or pizza place, if he didn't return, I'm sure they'd be out looking for him, especially if it's been going on for seven years. But even though that one wasn't true, there is a couple 
in southeast Russia who have eaten 30 people. They have admitted to eating 30, 30 people, murdering them, drugging them and murdering them and eating them. 30. And that was between 1999 and 2017. And if you look up cannibalism, there's quite a few um, articles about it. I mean, I'm going to put some links down below, but it's quite scary to think that somebody would eat you. But what better way to get rid of evidence? The only thing is that you can't get rid of human bones. And they would find out sooner or later. I think one of the guys was mincing them up. Oh, so gross. Actually, I think it was the one that said it was false. But apparently he, was mince he had this grind and was mincing them up. I mean, people have got such macabre minds. Um, what else did I want to say? Apparently, oh yeah, whether or not where the concept of cannibalism came from, apparently it came from Homo, homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Near Thandals because um, they used to eat humans, but it wasn't sustainable. I guess there wasn't enough humans for them to eat, so then they turned to animals. I saw that in an article. I don't know how true it is because you just don't know, but apparently cannibalism has been going on for years. And I mean, to be honest, we have heard of it existing, but I think as we've evolved over the t over the years, we've probably thought, oh, it doesn't happen now. We've, we're civilised. There's no reason for anyone to eat another human being. And there is no other, there is no reason, unless you're out in the stick somewhere, like I said, really, really hungry, and that's the only thing. You see somebody coming to your door, and you think, yeah, you turn into a lion, a hungry lion, and you just decide to kill the person and eat him or her. I mean, I couldn't work out. I mean, some of them cook them. I, uh, it's beyond my imagination. I just think the whole thing is horrendous, to be honest. You know, can you imagine being in a desert, not even a desert, on some mountain somewhere, and, you, you know, they're talking about, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, and then they start looking at you, are we? And they're like, hey, no bother with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you imagine? Anyway, I'm going to put all the links below, as I usually do. This is just awareness raising, really. It's not any information you can do anything with. I might, you might even think, why the hell is she telling me about this? But you never know. It's always good to be aware. You might think, you know, especially in the future when, you know, poverty starts coming and we don't know what's happening. You might be thinking you're safe and you're like... Don't like the idea, don't like the way that guy's looking at me, he's telling me he's hungry, and he's looking at me a weird. I don't like it. So anyway, that's all for now. Bye.